Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Idris, welcome to Alim, and this is your plan inshallah for this month and I'm teacher Ayah, let's go now to zero. Inshallah in this month we will learn Al-Med, Al-Tawi'i or the natural med. The natural med, uh, it is not a, a special sound or a different sound, it is just I should stretch the letter, the sound of the letter already I have. Why? It is to make the word better and we can pronounce it well. Okay, so what is the letters of uh, al med? What is the med letters and how I can pronounce it and how many haraka I should to uh, stretch or I should to pronounce? So, first, the, the letters of al med, it is three letters well, alif, and yeah, this is the three letters, yes. Uh, so this means any well or any alif or any ya in Al-Quran, this means mad, of course not. The mad has two conditions. The first condition, I should define the well or the alif or the ya without haraka, has sukun, nothing above each letter of them. This is the first condition, yes. And the second condition, I should define the alif preceded by fatha and al well preceded by Dhamma and Aliya preceded by Kisra. So this is the two conditions, yes. When I find any Alif preceded by any something else, so it is not mad, of course. So the Alif should be preceded by Fatha. An Alif without Haraka, no Hamza, no short vowels. So this is, will be mad. And it is the same with Aliya and al -waw. If each one preceded by for al -waw, Dhamma and Aliya Kisra, and nothing above Aliya or al -waw, no Hamza, no, no short vowel, so this is Mad. How many haraka is stretch in Mad? Or I, can, I say in Mad, pronounce in Mad, two haraka. They say, A, B, T, F, J, S, so, ko, ya. This is for al alif. Let's go now to al ya. Okay. We have e, b, t, c, c, g, f, h, n, m, like that. And then we have. Al well. When I say bu, hu, du, su, this is the mad letters we have. Yes, and inshallah, of course, in our sessions we will continue about them. Jazakallah khairan, Idris. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Allah Muhammad Rasulullah